Doctor? What's you got? An overprotective data B who needs to chill out. Her back's been sore and she's had these awful headaches and she's like forgetting things. She nearly fainted at the coffee shop. It's called having a baby, Michael. Vitals? We found him right outside. We didn't have time. All right, we got it. Thanks. How far along are you? 39 weeks. You have a birth plan? Yeah. Any allergies? No. Complications? Just having these really bad headaches. Mom's blood pressure 290 over 160, heart weight 130, and Fetal heart rate 90 and falling. All right, trauma one. We have to do an emergency C-section. Call OB, but I'm not waiting. What, now? What? What's happening? Is the baby okay? Michael? Just breathe. Michael! Should I call her doctor? I have PGA and polyglactin 9. Is she okay? She's sedated to help with the hypertension, but we need to get your baby out now for both their sakes. Retractor. Richardson. And where's OB? Okay, need a little help here. Everything okay? Got it. Okay. Hold it nice and What's wide. What's wrong? Doctor? Full Is it a Keep trying. Position. Doctor. Suction. Just a little more. <sighs> <laughs> Time of birth, 10.23 a.m. You have a strong baby boy. Give me those APGAR scores. Yes, doctor. All right, I see that. Standing by. Birth weight, uh, 7.6 pounds. APGAR. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> I don't usually play favorites. Your son is perfect. Sabrina, would you just give us a minute? Mr. Archer, I'm uh, Dr. Goodwin, medical director of this hospital. Is everything okay? Your paperwork said that Lynn is your surrogate. She's also my best friend. But you paid her to carry the child? Yes. Uh, we have a contract. Yeah, I'm afraid that uh, surrogacy contracts aren't valid in the state of New York. So by law, the baby belongs to the birth mother, and we can't legally give him to you without her permission. Then just ask her. She'll tell you. <laughs> what? We thought delivering the baby would relieve Lynn's hypertension, but so far it hasn't. We're doing everything that we can, but uh, she hasn't regained consciousness. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Michael. I know this is hard, but the nurses here are going to take amazing care of him. You can't be serious. You're taking a nap? Michael, listen to me. I'm going to do everything that I can to help you, but right now, we need to take him. surgery. We should know in an hour or two if the clipping has lowered her intracranial pressure. Dr. Kapoor will be overseeing that. And our grandson, can we see him? Uh, this is Dr. Fromm. I've asked him to consult on this case in his role as a child advocate. Yeah. Well, forgive me for asking, but you, you are aware that Lynn was not the egg donor for this baby? Yeah, that since she was just the carrier, she and this child are not genetically related in any way? Okay, good. Um, I, I apologize for having to discuss paperwork at such a painful time. I really do, but uh, if you take a look, please. What is this? Um, it's a waiver. Although Lynn and Michael shared a contract, um, surrogacy is still currently illegal in New York, but the good news is, as Lynn's parents, you can sign on her behalf to allow the father to take custody. No. Uh, Mrs. Sackoff, this baby's father is sitting in my office waiting to hold his son. I am not giving him to some stranger. Uh, Mrs. Sackhoff. Some man who pays women to carry children? Ma'am, I know this is a uh, complicated situation, but this child is not yours. He is, the, he is the last piece I have of my daughter. He's our grandson, and we're taking him home. Hey, how's it going? Uh, well, legal put in an emergency injunction request for my goal. They've all made statements, so... Now we're waiting. Mm. And uh, when? Still in surgery. Yeah. Frankly, Lynn Sackhoff's intentions are clear. The contract's claim is compelling. However, the interstate dispute here is beyond this court's remit. So I'm bound to issue an injunction I'd take no joy in making. Until the conflict is resolved by a higher court, neither party may have custody. The legal guardian will be the New York Department of Social Services. The baby is to be placed in foster care. Your Honor, uh, this child's genetic father is here begging to take him home, as are the birth mother's parents. And this court's answer is to send this wanted newborn into foster care? It's the law. I'm sorry, Dr. Goodwin. My hands are tied.
This isn't over yet. Our legal team can file an appeal by tomorrow. No, oh, we'll lose. No, you don't know that. Max, do you think this is the first case like this? This is not unique. And while we're appealing, Robin will be in foster care. Not for days, for months. I know. It's unfair. And it's cruel. <sighs> Michael? If you let your son go to foster care, you will be introducing him to a world that is cruel and unfair. Far more cruel than this. So what are you saying? I should just give up? I'm saying you should fight. You should fight to give your son the best life that he could possibly have. Even if it's not with you. I'm afraid the clipping procedure has not relieved Lynn's intracranial brain pressure. Is there a cure? Surgery to place a ventricular shunt in her head, but... Excuse me. How is she? We must prepare for the worst. You, uh, you've raised an amazing woman. Thank you. That's why I'm, uh, withdrawing my case. You can't grow up in foster care. My son... <laughs> He needs to be with people who love him, even if that's not with me. And if you do as good a job with him as you did with Lynn, then he's going to be... Please tell Robin that his daddy loves him. Michael! What you did back there? Yeah. Lynn's parents want to talk to you. We just wanted to hold onto our girl in case she doesn't wake up. But we need to honor what she did while she was here. <laughs> and what she did, she did for you. Are you? Just... 